So now let's work on the stage real quick. Lean's on my back. We'll start from the harness. Everything always begins with your feet. So no matter what we're doing in jujitsu, really if you're if you're ever wondering like what should I be doing first, it's always going to be your connection to the ground. Because without the connection to the ground, I can't build leverage. So I always start with my feet, okay? And there's two things to break this uh, movement up in the beginning into two parts. There's what you're doing with your head and what you're doing with your feet, okay? We'll start with our feet. So what I want to do is I want to make sure I always fall towards the side. The arm that's choking me is pointing. So if his right arm's around my neck, I want to go that way. It's not the end of the world if I go this way, but it's way better if I go that way. Okay, so I want to ensure I do that. I need to bring my heels to my butt so I have leverage and then push my right foot back a little bit. It makes it harder for him. It's like a kickstand if he tries to push me this way. And now using my feet, I push and I go here. Now once I've gotten myself to the side, what's super important is that Liam does not pull me back that way. So, stop for a second. If I take my foot off the mat, that will be easy for him to do. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing through my foot all the way to whatever is touching the mat. In this case, it's my shoulder. Ultimately, it's going to be the back of my head. So as long as you're doing that and you're driving, he should be able to pull there. It's very hard for him to pull you to the other side. Now my left foot does a reverse shrimp, and that's what lets me turn my hips. I'm not touching his hands, I'm not grabbing his hands, I'm not doing any of that bullshit. You don't need that right now. You just want to be able to stay just with your body, okay? Now once I get to here, all I'm worried about is mount. And he's going to mount me by bringing this knee over. So I want to control below his kneecap, right here on his shin. And then I can start to, now we're going to scramble. And I'm going to try and stay on his back and chest back and turn towards him. We're going to get away from him. We'll go slow again. I want to try and get this part perfect, right? So which way do I need to go? This way. So I begin, bring my feet to my butt, push, drive, 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 stop, say, hey, can you pull me? Let him grab your knees. So can pull you? No, no. Okay, good. And then take your time. Because where people get pulled this way is then they rush trying to spin, and then he pulls you the other side and chokes you. Yes. So I go here. As long as you have both feet connected to the ground and you're pushing through the ground with your feet, he should not be able to pull you there with his upper body. The only way he'll be able to get you there is by using his feet. What he'll do is he'll use his foot. Exactly. But, go back. If you're smart and you're relaxed, you're feeling that, as soon as that foot touches the mat, I'm just going to slide out onto it. And now what do we got? Okay? So this, like, one single mechanic for escaping back control that's most important is this. The head part we'll put in in a second is going to help you survive and make sure you don't get choked. But all, your ability to peel them off your back is 100% related to what I just did here uh, off the mat. So try back and forth. If you have questions, raise your hand. Okay, go ahead. Your feet are what turned your hips, not your hands. I don't want you guys to even touch the harness right now. Try, try not to grab. As soon as people grab, then they start to get myopic. Just relax, right? So now I'm going to do the exact same thing with my legs. I'm going this way. I'm just going to add my head position. Okay, and my head position becomes really important the moment he tries to choke me. So if he goes to choke, yeah, so go back. He's going to let go and that hand's going to come around my neck. As soon as I feel that happen, I'm going to throw my head back this way. Okay? And that's going to defend the choke. So even if he hang on, as that hand comes around my neck, as soon as my head gets here, there's no choke. Right? Let me switch with him. So we'll isolate it just practicing the head position. So both my hands are out. He doesn't know which one I'm going to go with. I'm going to go slow. If I go with the right one, I want him to get his right ear up against my chest. Right. There's no choke. Now. Left one, left ear. Good. Try and fake him out a little bit. Good. Now, once you have that basic mechanic, that's connected to your feet. So you put the two together. Right? So I go here. Now push off with the feet. Everything else is the same. Yeah. And then turn. Very nice. Got it? Put it together. Go ahead. Really important is it's a lot of times when we're in bad position for jujitsu, same thing could be said if I'm a cross side bottom, right? You're going to want your feet connected to the ground. If I'm in cross side bottom and I'm escaping, right, I lift my feet off the mat, that's when you get smashed and flattened because you've lost your connection to the ground, you've lost your base. When you're 
escaping leg control and you take both your feet off the mat when they're on your back and you take your feet off or whatever you're flailing here with your limbs that's when they're going to pull you left or right or wherever they want and choke you okay so your base this is your base very important and your foot just that reverse shin is all you need to turn your hips up and that's super powerful that's going to take his hook off your leg a lot better than your hands will right come here if uh we're here, and Liam just gets very, very heavy the way he should. Go. Don't let me pull you. Now freeze, freeze. Now very slowly, using your left foot. Keep your right foot there so I can't pull you. I'm pulling him so he has to keep that pressure on. Now use your right, left foot. Just yeah. See what's happening? He didn't need to move his leg or anything else. It's just his hip is going to completely flatten out my leg. You got so much power there as long as you stay connected to the mat. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for frequent updates because we're updating this every week. And make sure you comment and like and share our videos. We appreciate it and we definitely try and respond to all the comments. And if you like what we're doing and you like the material, check out SPG University, SPGU, uh, and you're going to see a ton more uh, in, in much greater depth than what you see here on YouTube. Thank you very much.